A, B, C, D is a square-based pyramid with size 12 cm. The height of the pyramid is 8 cm. A, calculate the length of C, E. Let's just put in the diagram for the moment. So here's our pyramid. A, B, C, D. Height, E. So we've got to find... Uh, we're going to have to find this length here, C, E. Calculate the angle between C, E and the base. We're going to have to calculate an angle down here. And there's going to be a midpoint of... A, B, and then we're going to have to calculate E, M. So that's going to be that distance there and the angle that that triangle makes with the base. Right, let's just um, go to this GeoGebra app that we have here. Okay, so I'm put, going to put in F. Now, F is the, the midpoint here of this, of the, of the square base. And then if I click in this triangle, I'm going to have to find this triangle here. Right, so I'm going to need to find this length here. I know this one is 8 and in order to find this length here. Okay, and later I'll show you this in 3D as well. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need to use another triangle. So I'm going to have to click this one here, this blue one here. And I'm going to have to find all of that length here using Pythagoras and then take half of it in order to find that length there. And then in part B, I'm going to calculate that angle here. And I'm going to come back to this in a minute. Right, so well, calculating this red line here, I'm going to need that triangle, this right angle triangle. But before I can do that, I'm going to need to use this triangle here. So consider triangle ABC, ABC. Draw it out. Now you should always try to draw the triangles out first if you can, yeah? So this is 12, this is 12, it's ACB or A, B, C better. And we've got up this missing length here, so we're going to use Pythagoras because it's a right angle triangle. So A, C squared. A, C squared is going to be 12 squared plus 12 squared. That's 144 plus 144, which is 288. Now, A, C is going to be the square root of 288. Now, I'm going to leave it like that in order not to have a decimal. So that means that the distance F, C is the square root of eight, 288 over 2. Right, now using this triangle here, so consider the triangle ECF. This is the square root of 288 over 2. This is 8, taking off from this diagram. And what I need to do is calculate this length here. So again, using Pythagoras' theorem, EC squared is going to be 8 squared plus square root of 288 over 2. It's all squared. Now this looks quite complicated, but it isn't in reality. This is going to be 64, and I'll explain why this one is now 72. The square root of 288 squared is 288, and 2 squared is 4. 288 divided by 4 gives me 72. 74 plus 7, 64 plus 72 is 136, but in order to find EC, I need to take the square root of that, which gives me 11.661, which is 11.7 centimetres. Right, now I need to calculate the angle between C, E and the base. Right, so that's going to be that angle here. So again, drawing out that triangle, again, no, you probably wouldn't draw it out again because you've just drawn it out in the previous part. So this is the angle that we need to calculate. So it's right angle triangles of these Sokotoa. I've got the opposite and the adjacent. I want to find the angle, so I'm going to use that tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So tan feet tan ECB ECB. Sorry, that's E C F. I've got to change that, sorry. That's the angle I want to find, sorry. It's going to be tan of ECF is going to be 8 over the square root of 288 divided by 2. Now, taking that up there, I need to multiply that by 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. So we're going to get ECF is going to be equal to angle ECF is going to be tan to the minus 1 of 8, 16 over the square root of 288 on my calculator, making sure I'm in degrees, that gives me 43.313 degrees, which gives me 
33.3 degrees. Right. It says M is the midpoint of AB, and I now have to calculate the length EM. So I'm just going back to my drawing now. So I'm just going to get rid of all these. I'm going to keep point F though. Right, there's point M. There is the triangle that I'm going to use. Okay, and eventually I'm going to want to calculate that angle there, and I'll explain that in the last part. Okay, and in the end I'll go back and look at the diagram in 3D for you. Resume. Okay, so I got this triangle here that I'm going to need to use. So consider the triangle EFM. So I know this distance here is 8, this is 6, and then applying Pythagoras' theorem, it's going to be me squared is equal to 6 squared plus 8 squared. So that's 36 plus 64, which is 100, and the square root of me is going to be 10, square, 10 centimetres. So this distance is 10 centimetres. The last part, it says find the angle between the face, this face here, and the base. So what I need to do is I need to calculate this angle here and this angle here and that's going to give me, uh, using the same triangle, this is adjacent, this is going to be opposite and then using tan is opposite over adjacent. I'm going to have the tan of EMF is going to be 8 over 6. EMF is going to be tan to the minus 1 of 8 over 6, making sure my calculator is in degrees. That gives me 53.1301 degrees and round it off to uh, one decimal place is 53.1 degrees. Okay, so this has been a video to show about 3D. But if we go back to the GeoGebra app, I'm just going to unclick that to begin with. Okay, you can actually look at this in 3D. So if you click here, and I'll put the app in the um, notes of the video. Click on these 3D glasses and now you will be able to see it in 3D. Okay, so if I click there you can see F. We'll just move it around a little bit so you can see. And then if I click here, that's it, the first triangle that I need to find. Okay, however, I can't f really find that triangle until I have found that length there first from the base using Pythagoras on that on that triangle there okay and, so, and then once I've done that I can go back to that triangle and then calculate the length EC and then eventually I'm going to need to find this angle here Just moving it around so you can actually see it okay and then in the last part we need to make find M which is the midpoint of AB we need to click find the length E M. We know that this is six because this is half of twelve. Okay, and then finally we're going to need to find the angle this face makes with the base, which is actually going to be that angle there. So we need to calculate angle E M F. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to use 3D in uh, GeoGebra and use from 3D, use a simple right angle tri trigonometry to solve simple problems. Thank you very much for watching.